Okay guys, so I'm down 16 pounds. Feels great, I've only been on a few weeks. It's profiled by Sanford. I'm doing the eating plan. They coach me, they teach me, they recommend what I should be eating, what I shouldn't be eating. And I got some great recipes coming your way. Um, nothing but easy, healthy, and delicious. That's what today's recipe is gonna be. Something that I can have on my eating plan and it's amazing. We had it the other day and Tammy's like, we got to We got to show people this. This is really, really good. So, um, so very simple ingredients coming in close. We'll run down them and then we'll get started. Oh, it's so good. It is going to be my go-to appetizer. I love it. So these are like called sweet mini peppers. These are some of my favorite peppers to eat. They're not hot. You can just bite right into them and enjoy the crunch, kind of like a bell pepper, but they're in the shape of a pepper pepper, okay? You got these peppers, you got Philadelphia cream cheese, you got your milk, you've got Italian seasoning, and of course, everything deserves garlic. This is gonna be amazing, you guys ready? Let's get out our, we're, so you're gonna take your peppers out of the bag, cut the stem off, just cut the end off, and then slice them in half, and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Super simple. Just cut them. They kind of all look like little boats to be filled, right? So you're going to make sure that you got them cut in half and you have removed the green stem right at the end there. And it looks beautiful just like that. Okay. Lay them all out. And then it's time now to flavor our cheese. So I just want to let you guys know we doubled the cheese. We put another stick of cheese in there because we know we got more peppers then cheese. So that'll be reflected hopefully in the recipe down below if I remember to double it because yeah, that'll, just, that should be enough. We just double the pepper, that's all. Yeah. So we have yeah. double the peppers that we should in our recipe. So take a fork and start smashing your cheese down. Smash. If you need to zap it for a few seconds in the microwave, it'll soften it a little bit. We get it all smashed down. Now it's time to flavor it. You guys ready? This is our Italian seasoning. You're going to do this all by eye. You know how much seasoning you like. You know how much garlic and Italian seasoning you're going to want. Okay. Go ahead. Open up. Go easy. This is very fine. This is uh, granulated. So you got to go softly. So the whole gop doesn't come out. What's a gop? I think I just made that word up. Anyway. Once you got what you want in there, you can use fresh garlic if you want. Smash it up. It's all up to you. All I use it is Italian seasoning and garlic, okay? Now let's give it a mix. Oh, I forgot the splash of milk. Hold on a minute. All right. A little bit of milk in there. There we go. Now give it a mix. Once it's all mixed up, go ahead and bring your peppers over. Okay, we got our flavored cheese now. So now the next step is turn your oven on, get it up to 350 degrees, and you're going to roast the peppers for eight minutes before we fill them with this. So it's eight minutes, roast it by itself, fill it with cheese, and then we're going to roast it again. All right? So let me go roast those peppers for eight minutes at 350 degrees. It's all warm and roasted eight minutes so now tammy's helping me she's filling the little boats with the cream cheese mixture we made they're already seasoned in fact tammy even said to us we've made this before this is why we're doing it because it was so awesome she says this batch came out better than the last batch so she says the cheese is very well flavored so it's going to be perfect in these peppers i can't wait this one looks like when they've been roasted and then filled, she filled every one of them. Now you're gonna put it back in the oven for eight more minutes. Eight roasted before, stuff them, eight roasted after, chow down. It's a little more melty, it's a little more delicious. Uh, be careful, it's gonna be a little warm, okay? Eight minutes before you stuff it, eight minutes after you stuff it. Let's give this a try. Oh, so much going on in this kitchen lately, it's unbelievable. It's really cold outside, it's really warm in here, and this smells delicious. First of all, I wanna thank our sponsor, Profile by Sanford. 
It is the eating program that I'm doing. I'm being coached. I'm being taught. I love everything about them. And I'm down weight. And that's all that matters. I feel great. Anyway, I'm about ready to try one of these. I'm going to rub one of these little baby ones here. Because I know they're not going to be burning hot. Here we go. Mmm. Warm and cheesy. Here, want a finger? No, oh, just good. Anyway, I love you guys. I guarantee you will love this dish. Quick and easy appetizer. All right? Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.